Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, today I wanted to do a video about uh, these heat press pillows. And first thing is, it's only $17.99. Um, they're selling it on Amazon, and you get a uh, four pack with four different sizes. And basically, it's like a, a Teflon sheet wrapped in a pillow. It's like real soft cushion and stuff. And so, um, basically, these are used for um, items like this jacket has buttons and stuff on it. And there's no way I would be able to lay my heat press, you know, flat, flat on this or anything like that. So, where pillows come in handy is... Like with the design I got printed on here already, and that was from a previous video when I used those um, them heat transfers from that company. I forget the name right off the bat, but basically you just take the uh, pillow and put it on the inside of wherever you're uh, printing it, and that gives you a, a even flat surface. Once the pressure from the heat press hits down, it'll kind of keep it um, even because it got these seams here. And like when you press in on something that have seams, it's a chance that your uh, design may not adhere to the uh, substrate properly. So these pillows come in handy, like for uh, definitely like little jackets like this with a lot of uh, different grooves and seams and stuff like that. And then another example, but a smaller one, is like when you got something like this hoodie here and you want to print, but it got the uh, that real thick seam there. So when you put it on a heat press and drop it down, it's not creating a flat surface and it could cause problems. So depending on how big your design is, like I can use the uh, smaller size if the design is like fitting within that uh, size, I would just stick it inside of the uh, shirt there. And now where I'm printing that, it creates a flat surface for that area there. Or if it was a bigger design, I can just go with the uh, the big one here and just stick that up in the shirt. So every every uh, situation is probably going to be different. So that's why you need different size pairs and pillows. So now that still gives me that flat surface there. If I was to put it on now, that part is held out evenly. So I can get the good uh, quality. And then my favorite uh, style is this long one here. And... With this jacket here, like I have uh, prints on the sleeves here. And the way I was able to do those sleeves without those uh, seams right here messing everything up is you just pretty much stick it inside the sleeve. And now as you can already see that it's completely straightened that area out. So now I got a, a, a perfectly flat surface and it makes it easy to line up. So like if you're doing uh like both sleeves like that. I just kind of look at the uh, line above the shoulder and I'm able to see where I printed on that side so I can get this uh, pressing pillow and get it exactly where I wanted it on the same side. So it comes out even, easy to uh, measure like since it straightens out the sleeve, like if you did four fingers from the bottom or something like that, it makes it easy for you. So yeah, this is my favorite one here. So you, if you like uh, pressing on the sleeves, so, uh, yeah, and those are uh, pretty much all there is to it is like these are some real cool, important things to have. And I just wanted to kind of inform you guys in case you didn't know anything about them and you have issues with uh, printing on jackets, uh, hoodies with a lot of seams or uh, sleeves. Or, you know, if you wanted to do the pants legs, of course, they, uh, just, they really are like a handy device. And I guess I'll... Uh, let you guys watch me, I'm gonna uh, use it. But this t-shirt here, it's really not that big of a deal, but uh, I'll just go ahead and print this little t-shirt here. Just if you guys wanna see some little extra bonus work. Cause I know I haven't posted videos in a long time and been having back issues and stuff. So just trying to get myself together. So, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, See, and I'm just looking at like that can fit inside of there. So this would be a good example. Or if you just want to go a little bit bigger, which probably would be a little easier. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This is a little kid's shirt for my daughter. You know, the playoffs getting ready to start. 
So I gotta get some little Chiefs gear going for the family. And sometimes it is, it really is good on these kids' shirts because with the uh, seams on the neckline, you can zoom in, like, see, because with the, uh, because the shirt is so small, I can't, it, it'd be hard to hang it over there because it got the seams in there, you know, and those seams can be pretty thick and it can really cause um, adhesion problems. So now with this pressing pillow, it gives me a nice flat surface to work with. And I'll just preheat this bad boy. All right. And you guys definitely don't wanna do what I'm about to do, which is not uh, use a lint roller. So I don't know where my uh, lint roller is. So let's see. Go with the first piece here. Kind of, it is always funny on these little tiny bodies. I don't know how how many fingers to go with a tiny body. Can't remember. And since this is the first layer, I'm not gonna put the Teflon sheet over it. I'm just gonna drop it down for a second. One, literally one second, because it's a uh, multi-layered. So take that piece off there. And we'll go in with the second piece here. All right. And I'm still not going to use my um, Teflon sheet because this is still big enough to where it's not touching anything. So it's not touching the actual material, and it's just going to be this second. Every time I hit it, my monitor jerks. All right. This is really cute. Probably um, do these Valentine's Day. Flash that light down on me. It's hard to see in here. Trying to make sure it got it in the grooves because it's not layered on. It's, it's if you can see, it got the outline. So you definitely don't want to uh, layer Caesar glitter on top of each other. That definitely will not last. I promise you that. And then if I tell you that it does, they are lying to you. I promise. It will not last. All right, now. I think I need my sheet for this because now some of the material is exposed. All right, so now we'll just drop it down for a quick second. I think that's good. All right. All right, and now I'm gonna uh, press it for the full 15 seconds. Playoffs. Leave a uh, comment down below who y'all rooting for. You know, I'm from Kansas City, so I'm definitely going for the Chiefs. Yeah, hoping they get to the Super Bowl again. Get Tom Brady out the way for good. All right. And now, see that pressing pillow made it pretty easy, and now we got us a nice clean design. All right, and um, I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks, and you have a nice day.